Okay, so as this title suggests, I'm actually here to talk about a new initiative that we're going to be launching in conjunction with Abacus uh, for 2018. Currently in sort of testing mode at the moment, but as the title suggests, what we're really looking to do now is offer that genuine multi-channel approach where you're sending your, your cold prospects the catalog. We can actually identify those at an individual level and actually reach them online at the same time. So obviously really strengthen the message and in turn driving more incremental sales. So as part of this, it's going to be short and sweet because I've got the graveyard shift just before lunch. So it's only going to take 10 minutes, so don't worry, you'll, you'll get your food pretty soon. But as part of this, I'm going to take you through a very quick overview of Conversant. Obviously, some of you to varying degrees will be familiar with Conversant anyway, but it's important that if we're going to be working very close with Abacus, you actually do understand that at a top line level. Then I'm going to take you through the concept of what Abacus activation is going to look like, how we're going to roll it out, and then finally give you three key takeouts. So the first point, for those of you that don't know, um, Conversant is actually a sister company of Abacus. We've been part of the wider Epsilon group now for around about three years. And in layman's terms, we're essentially the digital arm. So with Abacus, obviously, as you know, it's a very data-rich company. They're actually driving who, who you really should be targeting, both from a customer point of view and also a prospect point of view. We do a very similar sort of thing from an online perspective. However, the only difference is really that we actually take it to another level because we can do the delivery at the end as well. So covering sort of display, mobile, on a personalized level. So very interesting what Anna said there in terms of the last, last talk. If you're going to have these ongoing conversations with people, it's really, really important to make it relevant and personalized. And that's a big, big part of what we do, which I'm going to cover in a bit more depth in a moment. So as a starting point, the three fundamental beliefs that we have as a business and what drives everything. The first thing being that you should be able to target at an individual level. Now that might sound quite crazy to you know, a room full of direct marketers because that's essentially what you're doing all the time. You know you have the name, address, you know who you're sending it to. Online, it's not as simple as that. And the reason being that the average person in the UK will have 11 cookies associated with them at any one given time. So what I mean by that, if I'm on my laptop, there's one cookie. On my mobile phone, another cookie. Tablet, another cookie. Different browser, different cookie. So if you're trying to target an individual level online, you have to be able to roll all those cookies up it's at an individual level. And that's essentially what we can do. So from there, then, you can start distinguishing between existing customers and prospects. And fundamentally, you can actually start doing this initiative that we're talking about here. So identifying and finding an individual offline and also online. The second point is actually, point is actually having that ongoing conversation and dialogue. Because fundamentally, I think Martin 101, if you truly want to influence someone and get that brand equity, you have to have an ongoing conversation. But if you look at digital, generally speaking, in terms of display, it's generally very short-term conversations. So if you take retargeting as an example, someone goes onto the site, they don't buy, say, within straight away, they'll get retargeted for 14 to 30 days. If they don't buy within that period, it's conversation over. If they come back to the site three months later, that would be seen as a complete new visitor, they start the conversation over again. So going back to what Anna said before, it's about making it relevant. And we can store data at an individual level for up to 400 days, and based on what we know of that individual, personalize the messaging and have an ongoing dialogue with them as well. So whether it's a new prospect you're looking to send into a customer or an existing customer you're trying to make into a law advocate, that's a key part of what we're doing here by making it relevant. And we literally have hundreds, potentially thousands of different creative variations that we're serving to that individual based on, on what we know of them and where they're up to in the customer lifecycle. And the final piece, and I hear this from marketers all the time, how do you measure it? Attribution now, I think, is an absolute nightmare. There's so many different channels out there, so many different touch points in the customer journey. How do you know what is genuinely driving value for you? And a big part of what we do is actually have test and control groups, so we can actually then report back on an incremental level of the genuine value that we're driving. So a big part of that is just because we've served someone an ad, we're actually saying that's not necessarily the reason they've gone on to buy. We acknowledge that. They could have bought anyway, could be a different channel, etc. So we actually do it via test and control groups. So if, to summarize all that, essentially what we're doing here is recognize at an individual level, matching someone's various devices to them, then facilitating an ongoing personalized conversation. And I said the relevancy of that is the key based on what we know of them as an individual and whether they're up to in the customer life cycle, then measuring it correctly. To be completely clear as well, because we're talking about an individual, we can also measure on an online and offline point of view. So if people are actually buying offline with you, i.e. by phone, et cetera, we can also influence and drive people like that. So we actually work with brands, for example, where 90% of their sales actually happen in store. And as long as you've got some way of tracking who that person is, either via a loyalty program or even e-receipts, we can then also report back on what we're doing in that respect as well. OK, so how this actually all fits in from an Abacus activation point of view. So as I said at the start, really where we're heading to now, we're currently in testing phase, so we'll be launched in 2018, is actually combining that notion of when you actually send out a catalogue, reaching a portion of those same people online at the same time. 
Now, to be completely clear, of course, we're not going to be able to identify 100% of those people. And our match rates in the UK at the moment are generally anywhere between sort of 30 to 70%. But by being able to reach them at the same time, as I said, you've got that genuine multi-channel approach, and it's also really strengthening the message. Now, how we're going to actually do this as well is the creative is a real key element. Because fundamentally, if you're going to drop the catalog, when they go online and see the ad, or the ads, sorry, they actually need to resonate with that straight away. So, OK, I've got the catalog from Brand X. Now I've gone online, and I've also seen the, the basically similar creative. So what we're going to be doing from that point of view is very similar imagery. So whatever you're using on your front cover, for example, on the catalog, you need to be using something very similar for online. Whatever messaging you're going out with for your catalog, again, you need to do something online. So if you think your catalogs are already working really, really well because you've got the uh, great data behind it, et cetera, you add in the online piece where you can then also have that conversation with someone for, say, another 30 days, maybe reach them another five, 15 times um, online. That's really going to strengthen your message. Um, and again, we can also measure this from an incremental point of view because you're going to have a baseline there in terms of the difference between people only receiving the catalogue and people actually receiving the catalogue and online. So you're going to have a very, very clear difference there. And all of that can be reported back on and obviously give you complete transparency on as well. So you'll know the genuine difference that this will actually be making. So three key takeouts. As I said, this was going to be short and sweet because I've got the graveyard shift. Um, so the first thing is now online. You actually can target individuals. As I said, you're very used to that, say, doing it via email or direct mail, but you actually can now do this online. And it, it actually is a game changer because even if you look at this at a basic level, if someone lands on your site normally, that could actually be your best prospect or it could be um, a brand new customer, your best customer, et cetera. If you actually know that and then can personalize the message for them when they leave, as I said, that's a game changer in the market. And you can start doing a lot of things you've been doing with direct mail now online. Also, as well with this, working in conjunction with Abacus, we can have that genuine, genuine multi-channel approach, which I said is seriously going to strengthen your messaging, whether you're looking at existing customers or new prospects. And finally, we can measure this in an incremental way, so you'll know the genuine value that you're receiving. So that's it, guys. So it's, in, it's in testing mode at the moment, but um, we'll be able to give you a lot more information on this in the, in the coming months. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.